Do gentlemen still exist? And what really makes a gentleman? Uh, these questions were asked of me by a student, so I thought to answer them here. Now in the past, Western civilization called a gentleman a man of noble birth, high social position and wealth. And that later evolved to include character and chivalry towards ladies. Gentleman's Gazette lists the following as signs of a gentleman today. High values, well-dressed, well-informed, open-minded and respectful. Now that's good, although it's not really clear what high values or being respectful are. Gentle women or gentle ladies basically have the same definition and there are still finishing schools for young ladies teaching them conduct, dress, poise and table manners. And while a five-day course may cost 5,000 pounds or more, the lessons are very much about externals. Anyway, let's talk about gentle persons, which includes men and women, and which the Urban Dictionary defines as one who considers the feelings of the people around them and makes them as comfortable as they are able. That is pretty shallow. So in order to answer my student, I turn to the ultimate book on yoga, the Bhagavad Gita. One may ask, what does a book on yoga have to do with being a gentle person? And my answer is, because being a gentle person is a byproduct of proper yoga practice. So, the Gita says that the conduct of gentle human beings includes the following. Peacefulness, self-control, austerity, purity, tolerance, honesty, wisdom, and spiritual enlightenment. And the Gita further talks of a gentle person's conduct, speech, and mind. Now in conduct, it lists meditating on the Supreme, respecting one's guru and superiors, cleanliness, simplicity, celibacy, and nonviolence, which means she or he's a vegetarian. Of speech, the Gita says, speaking words that are truthful, pleasing, beneficial, and not agitating to others, and regularly studying spiritual texts. Finally, of the mind, it lists satisfaction, simplicity, gravity, self-control, and purification of one's existence. Now, these standards of a gentle person have not changed in 5,000 years. So, if being a gentle person is something that attracts you, then I suggest you start by practicing the following five essential qualities. Simplicity, keep life simple. Live with what you need. Keep your work as a means to facilitate self-realization. And don't be duplicitous or diplomatic in behavior. The next one is celibacy. And now this one may turn a lot of heads. Refrain from sex until you are married. And when you are, stay faithful to one spouse. Third one, pleasing speech. Be polite even when you disagree and don't waste time in idle chatter on social media. Next comes satisfaction. Be satisfied with your karma, with what comes without excessive effort. Don't be a slave of consumerism and don't compete with others about your dress, your car or lifestyle. Be satisfied with what destiny has in store for you. And finally, purify your existence. Life is about self-realization about knowing you're not this body, that you are the soul within the body, about dedicating your existence to attaining higher and higher states of spiritual awareness. That's it. So once again, if you want to follow the 5,000 year tradition of gentle persons, then concentrate on simplicity, celibacy, pleasing speech, satisfaction, and purification of existence. These are what I try to cultivate and if you see that someone possesses these qualities, then there's a gentle person for you. They still exist.